Hey gang, it's uh, David again with yet another Oxygen Builder tutorial and in uh, this uh, video we are going to create this uh, can burns effect that uh, I recently used for one of my uh, projects for one of my clients and I thought that it might be a good uh, thing to learn, a good thing to see how to achieve uh, this kind of a like a zoom and pan slider uh, effect here inside Oxygen. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have a completely blank page here in uh, Oxygen and uh, the first thing that I will do is uh, I'm going to just uh, add a section that um, it's going to be like our like a logo and a menu section, a container for that. So I'm going to just type in a section, I'm going to add a section. And I'm gonna make sure that it spans, uh, that it stretches from the left to the right. So I'm gonna choose full width, just like that. And inside, I'm gonna add columns module, and I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna choose the 50/50 uh, column layout. Now it doesn't really matter which uh, layout uh, you choose, because uh, what we really want to achieve is just like a quick uh, photography, uh, text-based logo on the left and a quick um, menu system on the right. That's not even going to be responsive, I just want some uh, links. Because ultimately I want to overlay this section over our well zoom and pan slider effect. So in the left column, so in this left div, I'm just going to add a um, heading. There we go. And the, uh, the font that I'm going to use is called Satisfy. It's a free Google font. And I'm just going to type in photography. There you go. Let me just maybe make it just a bit bigger. Uh, this should be all right. Uh, later on, we're going to change the color of this logo to white, but uh, you know that that's going to come uh, after. So in this uh, second div, I'm going to create something like a, uh, you know, like a like a mock-up navigation. Let's call it like that. So I'm just quickly going to add a text module. And in here, I'm just going to type in home uh, and I'm going to add a class to it. So it's going to be like a, um, maybe like nav, uh, not vav, nav would be better, nav link. And uh, I'm going to change the font family to something more visible, like maybe uh, poppins. I'm going to go to advanced typography. I'm going to choose uppercase, letter spacing, maybe one. Uh, Maybe let's try the font with 600. This should be all right. And now I'm just going to duplicate this guy just a few times. And I'm going to change the name. Well, I'm going to change this link to something like portrait. This guy is going to be our um, landscape, landscape photography. This guy is going to be, I don't know, maybe wedding. There we go. And the last one is going to be just contact. This should be fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this uh, div. I'm going to uh, move all these guys. I'm going to choose the layout child elements horizontally, uh, vertically. I'm going to align them to the middle and push them to the right. Now we could also just uh, grab one of our links and let's do some slight margin like on the left, maybe five. I guess this should be all right. I don't want to spend too much time on this navigation. This is not the point of this uh, of this tutorial. The point of this tutorial, the goal of this tutorial, is to create this uh, can, uh, can burns effect, the zoom and pan effect. I'm going to add another section in which I'm going to add a slider. This guy right here. And of course, this section needs to be... I'm going to change the size and the spacing to full width, like the previous section. And I don't want this guy to have any padding inside like that. And uh, yeah, and <laughs> that's that's all what we need to set up for our section. And as far as the slider goes, well, you know, you can do whatever you want with the slider, basically, because we are going to use custom CSS for our images. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of uh, these uh, these arrows. I'm going to remove the, the padding uh, around uh, slides and uh, I guess animation speed 750 for now this should be fine we can change it later but maybe I'm just gonna change it to fade instead of uh, like a slide effect and for the configuration I don't want to show the arrows I don't want to show the dots and uh, we are gonna be using uh, the infinite option but not necessarily within the slider 
uh, and uh, we are going to be using definitely the autoplay, but not for now. For now, let's just focus on adding our slides. So I'm going to get rid of these two slides and I'm going to just be working on this first slide. So again, I'm going to go to advanced background. I'm going to go to the background image and I've already set up some images. So I'm going to choose this first one and then I'm going to go ahead and choose background size uh, cover and no repeat and 50 for the left, 50% and 50% for the top. And maybe we could overlay uh, the color image overlay, but uh, with slight transparency, maybe something like this, this should be all right. So of course, what I want to do is I want uh, I want to make sure that uh, this uh, these slides are spanning, uh, you know, from top to bottom of our page. So I'm gonna grab the slide, go to the advanced section, and for the size and spacing, I'm gonna choose 100 vh. So this would be our uh, well our first slide. But of course, this uh, slide this slider needs to go below our top uh, top section. I'm gonna grab the first section, and I'm gonna choose advanced. I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to choose position absolute like that. I'm going to go to top zero, left zero as well, just to be on the safe side. And for the Z index, I'm going to go with something crazy like 1000, just to make sure that it sits on top of everything. And at this point, we could um, change the text color of our logo to this white. Same goes for our navigation. So this was, I believe, this one. We are right now, we are ready to start adding uh, our uh, effect. If we go to uh, to the incognito mode to preview our site, this is what our site uh, looks like uh, at the moment. So to create this uh, effect, we're going to need some custom uh, CSS. I found this bit of uh, this bit of code, uh, you know, just search in Google and I'm going to link that uh, code to you. But I've also prepared it here, uh, you know, <laughs> for myself. So what you can see here is um, is that exact uh, code, and uh, in here we got first we got some you know like a class for the wrapper that is going to be wrapping our uh, well our images, but uh, in normal case it would be like a class for container, but we have our slider, so we we, we won't be really needing uh, this class right here. We are going to be needing all this. Uh, all this code below. So what it basically says is it's um it's expanding our image to 100%, which is well we are already doing it, but you know this is what this code is doing. And then we are introducing an animation that is called move that is gonna take 40 seconds, and the easing is just ease. And uh, this is the the browser agnostic version, and we also have uh, the browser specific. Uh, code and we got the position absolute as well right here which I don't think would be necessary but I'm gonna leave it for now just as is and below we got uh, our keyframes so keyframes that are going to affect our move animation this guy right here and it simply says that from at the at zero percent I, I want the scale to uh, to be well one and at 100%, I want the scale to be 1.2. So we are making basically our uh, our images uh, bigger, but of course they are animating at the uh, at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is for now I'm just gonna grab this code. I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna go to Manage Style Sheets, and uh, I'm just gonna create a new style sheet that I'm gonna call Can Burns Effects. Okay, and I'm just gonna paste that code. Okay, so let's just uh, quickly take a look at what we need to change here in, or, in order for our uh, for our effect to work. Well, well, first of all, um, I don't think that we're gonna be needing this image right here because we don't we're not targeting an image within this specific uh, well container that has this class. I'm gonna change this class to can burns this class name. Can burns and uh, I'm gonna remove this position absolute right here because we've uh, absolutely positioned um, our our section. We don't need this. We can just leave it as a position relative. Um, this uh, slider container. Now we could also maybe change uh, the animation speed just to see you know the effect a bit quicker. So uh, from four seconds, I'm gonna choose maybe like ten seconds, and I'm gonna change it right here. For all, for all the 
browsers. So we got move, 10 seconds, ease. I'm going to leave all the other things for now as they are. I'm going to save this guy. And of course, what we need to do right now is we need to add that um, can burns class to our uh, to our well slide. And as you can see, it already starts uh, starts to work. So basically, basically all we need to do right now is to duplicate the slides. So I'm going to grab this slide and uh, I'm going to make sure that I am on the ID, not on the class. I'm going to change the background to maybe this one, this background image. Then I'm gonna change. I'm gonna duplicate this guy, and I'm gonna change the background um, to this wedding image, and I'm gonna do the same with this guy. I'm gonna go to advanced browse and uh, let's grab this landscape photography. So our animation may start to move, but there's just this a couple of small things we need to just take care of before we call it a day. Uh, so I'm going to grab my slider and I'm going to go to configuration and I'm going to choose auto play. This will make our uh, you know our slider play and it will you know trigger uh, the whole effect. So if I now just refresh the page, you can see that right now our our animations are working. But um you always need to remember that they are working uh, well like the slider is working in conjunction with our code. So all of our, uh, like each and every image right here is um, is being displayed for 3000 milliseconds. So um, it means that, and since our animation takes uh, 10 seconds, uh, it means that, um, you know, after nine seconds, I hope I'm making it clear, like the animation is going to basically change. So as you can see, the, the, the images start to look uh, still. So what I'm going to do, well, what we could do is uh, let's maybe just change uh, the animation uh, delay to 5000 milliseconds and if I go to our uh, style sheets then can burns since we have four images and each image is taking uh, five seconds to play I'm gonna change uh, this uh, animation duration to 20 seconds for each and every line of code right here 20 seconds um, same here and I'm also going to change this ease. I don't, I don't really like the, the, this ease uh, option and I don't really think it's that can burn. So I'm going to change it to linear. I'm also going to add alternate, which means that once the animation hits its like last step, it's going to like reverse. And uh, I'm also going to add infinite just to be you know on the safe side. If I forget to set it for the slider, I can always <laughs> just use it here. So I'm just going to grab all of these elements and I'm going to go to here. I'm just going to paste that in, paste this guy in and then paste this guy in as well. And let me just save that. I also don't want this animation to take place to happen from bottom left. I want to take it. I want it to move from the center spot because it will, you know, it will be like a for this, uh, well, at least to my taste, for this transform effect, it would just look a bit nicer, like cleaner for me, not so, no, not like this very jumpy, but of course you can play around with it. You could choose like top left, top, uh, top right, bottom right, whatever you want. I'm just gonna paste that in. And for the scale, I'm gonna go from one, but I'm gonna go up to maybe not 1.2, but maybe 1.4. So it's just going to be a bit bigger and then 1.4 and then 1.4. I'm going to save it and let's take a look at it uh, at the front end. I'm going to refresh the page. So as you can see right now, it's taking much longer for this image to, to, to scale. And we are always going from the center in a linear, uh, linear fashion. And once the animation, you know, like hits uh, that 20 second, uh, point i guess it's gonna right now it's uh, as you can see it's now reversing because we set it to alternate so right now it's going from 1.4 scale back to uh, back to one so there we go this is how you can create this uh, kind of an effect and of course if you wanted to you could overlay maybe some text over these guys uh, within your slides you know because these are all um, you know background images so you could add some headings uh, some text over it uh, you know that would be 
the easier thing to do. But I hope that even uh, this was quite easy to understand. As I said, I'm going to link um, that uh, CSS code in the description below. In the description below, you will also find a link to my uh, Oxygen course if you're interested in learning how to use Oxygen uh, from A to Z. Also, hit that like button if you like the video. And as always, have a nice design.